Okay, I am recording and I'm going to go ahead and mute everybody. I always know you guys already are. Okay, I always forget to do that before I start. All right, welcome everybody to the Driven Dynasty team call. Um, tonight I am really, really excited to talk to you about this topic because it's all about how to find a really targeted audience. So you guys probably know I am a big fan of Facebook ads. I've been running them for a long time, but progressively they weren't working for me. Like more and more and more, they, I just wasn't getting the same results, and which is why I did this training. And come to find out, I was completely targeting my ads, like totally wrong. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today is how to target your audience. And it's, it's a little bit time consuming to, to build up your audiences and to really find your niche. But when you do, that's when you're going to start attracting people to you that you totally relate with, with, you know, because I would bring in say like 50 people per ad probably. Um, but only maybe five max would I actually connect with, you know, would be similar to me just because my targeting was totally wrong. But when you really get this figured out, you're going to be able to start really honing in on the people that you want to relate to. And then when you start having conversations with them and getting to know them, it's like amazing because they're your people. They get you. They understand you. And these are the type of people you want on your team. So we're going to really talk about that. And then another thing I wanted to talk about is a change I'm going to be making to the team calendar. So in this, in this training where learning a lot about free groups and how to run free groups and why they say these are important is when you're running ads and you're bringing in all these new people into your team, they don't know you, right? They're your, you know, cold market is what people say. So they don't know you from anybody, which means they don't have a lot of trust yet. And a really great way to build that trust is offering them something of value for free. And that's where these free groups come in. And right now I'm hearing from a ton of different coaches um, in this training all about the different ways they run free groups. So some of them run five days, some 10 days, some 14 days. They run, you know, clean eating challenges, fitness challenges. It really can be anything. But the key component is offering value, really treating it like a challenge group, like a paid challenge group, and truly pouring yourself into these people adding value, connecting with them behind the scenes. And that's the way that you start really building relationships. Now, a super cool thing that one of these coaches is doing, and she's like a superstar diamond coach, so she knows her stuff, is she's using it also as sort of like um, a mini coach training ground, if that makes sense. So she takes all these people that she's been talking to throughout the month about coaching and maybe they have hesitations or they're not sure or they don't think they'd be a good fit or whatever. And she'll say, Hey, I know you're interested in coaching, but you're not sure about it. You don't really, you know, you're not quite ready yet. Would you be interested in co-hosting a free group with me? And she gives them the template. She tells them exactly what to post and they can invite all their friends and sort of co-run this free group with her. And it's an awesome, awesome way to give them an idea of what we're doing to already start building up credibility with their friends, start acting like a coach to show them how fun and exciting and engaging these groups can be. And then by the end of the week or two weeks, and people are ready, you've already got your new coach a whole bunch of potential customers because of all their friends that they brought into the free group. So, and I also think this is really great for new coaches too, who are just starting out and they need to build their credibility and everything with their audience too. So I'm going to start running free groups on the first Monday of every month from now on. Our first one is going to be on the 30th just because it's a weird month and we have the five Mondays and then I'm only going to be doing one paid challenge group the third Monday of every month. So the idea being that we bring in all these new people. So we have 
our coaching live event, right, that happens the third Thursday. So we have a lot of people hopefully in there where we're talking about coaching. They can go in and do the coach or to do the group with us, sort of co-host. I'm going to do it two weeks long because I just feel like one week is not long enough to really build those relationships like we want to. And then that will hypothetically lead right into the paid challenge group. So I'm going to make this like a team wide. Anybody can do it with me. Invite everybody massive group on the 30th. And then from there on, you guys can take my template and easily run your own. And if you have your own like page, you're going to be able to, I'm going to teach you how to really effectively advertise for these so you can start bringing in a ton of new people into your free groups, building the relationships, and offering value, and then converting them into your challenge groups. So I'm really excited about this idea. I think it's going to be awesome. Um, another cool thing they do in there is they do like these, like we've done in challenge groups, where like they daily, um, what do you call it, like, challenge or whatever, like, you know, motivation Monday, post this, blah, blah, blah. But they do all these different points. And one of the things they do is you get extra points if you share it on your personal page. So this is another way that they're getting people to already start planting the seeds before they're really doing anything um, with coaching. So that is that. And I will be working on getting together um, a template They've shared some templates with us. I have templates from old free groups, so I'm gonna sort of mash them all together in one like super 14 day, really fun, awesome free group. And then whoever wants to jump in there with me is absolutely welcome. Okay, now we're gonna dive into how do you target your ads? So if you've been following along with these trainings that I'm doing. Um, first thing we did is we created our ads to get likes on our page. So you should have made the 10 videos and five picture posts that you are trying out. And then once you find your winner, then you try out a whole bunch of different copy, which is basically what you're saying. And then once you have your winning ad and your winning copy, now you're going to find your audiences. And this is where it gets a little bit more tricky. So most people, when they're going to do an, an ad, they go into the interest section and they put a ton of interest, which is what I did for like a year. You know, I put like all things that I'm interested, uh, things I thought other people would be interested in there. And my audience was like, I don't know, 40 million people in Canada and the US. And apparently that was like completely wrong. <laughs> as I've learned. So, you know, no harm. Now we're learning. We're moving on. <laughs> Going to get a better system. So now what we do is, is we're actually going to target the followers of other like pages. So we're not going to be doing like other Beachbody coaches or anything, but we're going to really sit down and write out basically you. Like, what are you interested in? What clubs are you interested in? All that sort of thing. Then you can also go in and do a sort of, um, God, I can't remember how they put it, but like a breakdown of other people's pages and see what they're interested in. And, and you're going specifically into their like pages. So I'm just going to go do a screen share because it's going to make a lot more sense actually walking you through it than me just talking about it. So here is my very messy screen. Okay. So what you can do is go into, say, a coach of yours that you really relate with or a challenger of yours that you really relate with and just put their name in here. So let's do, I'll just do a coach on our team. How about that? Okay, so I'm going to go to her page and I'm going to click on about and you would do this with this is with everybody, the same thing. And you're going to go down to likes. Okay. And you're going to go through her likes. And you're going to see, okay, what is this person liking? And is this a page that I could target? Okay. So Tony Robbins is a great one, right? Like he's super motivational, inspirational speaker. 
go to his page. But the thing is here, you want their audience to be, or their amount of likes to be under 1 million. Because if it's over that, it's going to be too broad of an audience. And we're going really targeted here. So they would call this a like tier one audience. And you can use these to find better audiences. So all you would do is, for instance, I'm just going to like take you through like I was making an audience. And I would write down, okay, Tony Robbins. And I'm just going to remember that for the future. And you see, he's got a post about the Dallas event, guys. Super exciting. I want you all to be there. Okay. Now, going back. So we're going to keep looking through her likes. So John C. Maxwell, another great one. He's also really big, so probably not going to target him. Brandon Bouchard along sort of the same, uh, same idea here. Really, really big audience. Let's see, who's this person? Only has, what, 4,000 likes, so that's not big enough. You want it in like the 500 to a million range. You can go a little bit lower, um, and I'll, but I'll tell you a little bit further on how we do that. Supplements, we don't really wanna like target likes of other supplements. Wantable clothing. Okay, we could check this out. It has 300,000 likes, so that's a pretty good size. Now what you want to do once you find a good audience size is you want to see what the engagement is like on their page because you want to target pages that are really, that have a ton of engagement because that means that their audience is an engaging audience. It means they're probably really targeted and they're along the lines of people we want to speak to. So we're going to go down and you can see right away this person has, or this page has horrible engagement. They have 300,000 likes and only a couple people are actually liking their posts. So this is not a good page to target. Also, if you're not into clothing or shopping or fashion, don't target a page like that. Okay, so we're gonna keep going just so we can sort of get some more ideas here. Here's another clothing. 1.2 million, maybe not too bad. Okay, this one has a ton of likes. Of course, it's Justin Timberlake, so who wouldn't like him? <laughs> and then just keep scrolling down. A lot of likes, some good comments. So that's a maybe, so I would write that one down too. So I happen to be really into fashion and clothing and stuff, so I would target an audience like that. But if you're not, like I said, go for other things that you would want to target. Okay, so we'll keep going. Let's check out this one. This has 8 million likes, so definitely way too big. GoPro, 9 million, also huge. But GoPro is really liked by like super adventurous, outdoorsy types of people. So might be a good one to put in and then find smaller audiences from there. And I'll show you how to do that too. So I'm going to write that one down anyways. Okay. Keep going. And I'm just hovering over to see like how many likes do these guys have, right? Entrepreneur. So a ton of likes, but could also be maybe a good one to use first if their engagement is good but it's not really very good, okay? So can you see, guys, they have like 2.7 million people who like their page, and they're only getting this much engagement, so that means it's definitely not one we would want to target. Okay, keep moving on. So do you guys get the idea of what I'm doing here? Yes, okay, cool. So all you really do is, this is all you do to find them, and really go off of like what pages do you like? What pages do other coaches that you you know relate with like? And this is how you're going to start building your audience that you can target. So now when you're ready to actually start it, you're going to go into the ads manager and we're going to create these audiences that you're going to target your ads to. And then you're going to go into tools and audience insights. You see that up there at the top? Okay, click on that. 
and then you always click everyone on Facebook and it's going to bring up this whole thing. And this is where you create your audiences that you're targeting. So here in location, you want to either um, target the US or Canada. You don't ever want to do both at the same time. Now, we do have quite a few Canadian coaches on our team. So just so you know, if you're targeting Canada specifically, it is a little bit harder to get your numbers up to where you want it to be. And I'll explain more of that after I show you how it works, but just keep that in mind. So age they recommend targeting is 25 to 44, which is a great age range for us. And we're gonna target women. Okay, now we're gonna click over here on page likes because this is what we're searching under. And now under pages, well, here we go. We're gonna type in one of those pages that we wanted to target. So let's start with Tony Robbins. Oh, where did it go? There we go. Put it in the wrong one, sorry, under interest. Okay, so here he is, we're gonna click on it here. Now, this number right here, it says one to 1 1.5 million. We want this to be between 500,000 and a million. That's, I don't know why, this is what he tells me, this <laughs> is the trainer. So this is too big, right? Because I said his audience is too big. So we're gonna go down here and we're gonna find other pages that they're saying are similar to this one. And we're gonna see if we can target them. So we're gonna click here on affinity because that's gonna show you the higher the affinity score, the more in common they are. Okay, so first person is this Gabby Bernstein. So we're gonna click on her and see, is she somebody we could target? Okay, so she has 200,000 likes, so that's a good size. We're gonna go down here. She has really good engagement. So she's somebody we could target. So you're gonna come back. You're just gonna copy her name and you're gonna type it into here and click on her. Okay, now we still have Tony Robbins in here, so we're gonna X him out. And now you're gonna see up here, it's at 660 to 70,000. So we need to get that up to at least 500. So we're gonna go down here and find some more. So let's check out this person. She only has 72,000 likes, so that's not like super big. And she's not getting a ton of engagement, so we're not gonna do her. Let's go down to this person. 200,000 likes. She is not so great engagement either. Okay. Let's check out Marie Forleo. We know she's awesome. Okay. So she has good engagement on her page. Okay. So we can target her, her audience, that is, not her specifically. So we'll copy that, put her in. And just so you know, not every single page you can target. So some, some you can't for some reason. I don't know why. So sometimes you might type it in and it's not going to give you anything. So you just keep going, okay? So now we're up 750 to 400. So that's pretty good. So we'll go see if we can find maybe one more, like this Female Entrepreneur Association. So it's 300,000 likes. Let's see. So, so engagement. Oh, this one had really good engagement. Okay, so we could go for her. Could definitely, or be the type of audience that we want to connect with. Okay. All right, now we're up here to 450 to 500,000, so maybe let's try and add just one more and see. Let's see, what's this one? Oh, only 38,000, so that's not so great. I heart my life, what is this? <laughs> only 29,000. So you just really keep going through and finding people until you get it up. 
So she is so so, but it's not really a very big page. It's only 50,000. So let's keep going. Okay. You could just leave it at this if you wanted to. And just for the sake of time, we'll say we'll leave it at here. And then all you're going to do is click save. You would type your audience name in here to call it like since we, we targeted this as kind of like female entrepreneurs, we could type that in. And then you're gonna click save. Now I have an audience similar to this already, so I'm not gonna click save, but you would just type it in here and click save. Then you're gonna go back to the ad manager. You are going to go into your power editor. And you're gonna go to that ad, that winning ad that you had running for your like page. Because right now, remember, it's still running to the Beachbody audience. And you're gonna click on it. Oh, nope, go back. Sorry, sometimes it does that. Okay, you're gonna click edit within the ad set there. You're gonna come down here. To, so I, I've already done this, so I've already switched out the audience, but you would click on here and you would select one of your saved audiences. So here are ones that I've created. So right now it's being targeted to parenting magazines. So obviously I'm a, I'm a mom, I'm like really into kids and all that involves. So I've gone ahead and created this audience that's based off of that. So it's like parenting, American baby, fit pregnancy, practical parenting, that kind of thing is in here. And then you just click save, and now your ad is being targeted to those types of people. So those are who you are bringing in to your business. So it takes a little while and a lot of trial and error to, tr to go through all these different audiences and see like who, who is resonating with my material. And this is gonna tell you in your cost per like. Okay, so right here, sorry, this is cost per, cost per like. Ideally, you wanna get it down underneath 10 cents per like. Um, that is the best range that you wanna aim for. And once you get it underneath there, that means you really have a winning ad and it's doing really well. And now, once we've got this audience, and I'm just gonna let this run because it's bringing in, I can show you my like page now is like, so how adorable is that shirt? <laughs> I totally have a save. I'm like, I want it, but I don't know what color I want it. Okay. Um, I can show you now I've been running this at like $3 a day. Although actually I've had two running, so I've been spending $6 a day. But you can go in and see on my likes, where is this? So you can see the amount of page likes since I've started running this is like, we'll just go from May 1st basically is 47, 51 page likes and they're just going up and up and up and up and now I have 59, um, 80 page likes on my page from running these ads. And these are really targeted ads, you know, I'm not just throwing them out there to anybody to like my page. So as a result of being really targeted, you can see, let's go back here, my post engagement is up by 81%, which is really what you wanna see on your page. My video views is really up. My like views or likes is obviously really up. So these are things that you wanna be tracking on your page to know that what you're doing is working, that people are liking what you're doing and they're connecting with you. So from there, um, the module that we're currently in is all about free groups and it's gonna then teach us, I actually have the last video to watch, which is gonna teach us about targeting or advertising for free groups. And then next week is like the last module, which I've really been waiting for, which is teaching you how to advertise for the coaching opportunity and for challenge groups. So I hope this all made sense. I would really, really encourage you to, to 
take advantage of this training and that I'm teaching you and really start implementing this on your like page because you may or may not have noticed, like I have really started scaling back my posts on my personal page and I'm really moving everything over to my like page just because I know that is where the potential for growth truly is at. Um, I definitely, if you're a newer coach, think you should stay on your personal page while building your like page. But once it gets up there and you're really finding these targeted people to connect with and you're consistently running free groups to put them into and consistently building that relationship, you're just going to create this awesome sort of cycle that you can run month after month after month that's very formulaic and very targeted. You're not guessing and you're finding your people. So I'm going to unmute you guys so you can ask me any questions about this. Okay, do you guys have any questions, thoughts? No? Ashley's in a crazy house keeping it quiet? <laughs> I know, they're, everybody's like crying and screaming and fighting and I'm like, really you guys, really? Um, I'm probably going to have to listen to some of it again, but I did get a ton of awesome information. So great. That's really good. Um, what do you, what would you say like your monthly like advertising budget has kind of gone from when you started to where you are now? Like what, because obviously mine's going to be a little different than yours because you have a much larger platform that you've built. Mm -hmm. um, but what would you say would be like a good starting point? Like, how much would you say you would need to put in to see something come out? So in the beginning, when I first started, I was probably spending about $50 a month on ads. And I was really able to make a return on that easily. So mm -hmm. that was fine because I figured, okay, 50 bucks, if I just at least sell two challenge packs, it pays for itself, mm -hmm. which was, I was able to do. Um, now using that same system is not working, which is why I've moved over to this like page thing. So now I'm literally spending $6 a day for these likes that are coming in. Um, and you could easily, once you find your winning ad, only spend like $1 or $2 a day for okay. getting these likes in. Yeah. In the beginning when, because you'll want to go back, I did, was it last was it last call? I think I talked about how to create your ads to find those likes because you need to make like a bunch of them to really find the, the one that's going to be the best. So that is definitely a little bit more of an investment up front because you literally have like 15 ads running at $3 a day. But within one day, you can like, you can find which one is the winner and kill all the other ones. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect sense. Okay. And then I, like I said, I have this one last video to watch tonight and he's going to talk about advertising for free groups. So I'll be able to see what, what sort of budget does he talk about in here and let you know. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you, my dear. You're welcome. Do you have any questions, Roxanne? Um, I'm definitely going to, you know, try this and make some notes. I'm going to have to go back and re-listen to it. Um, and, but yeah, I look forward to doing it. So awesome. <laughs> Thank you very much for sharing all this. Yeah, you're welcome. I know he's like, <laughs> we're technically not supposed to, like I'm technically supposed to be like, you should take his training. Um, right, right. <laughs> you know, but it was like $300 and, and I feel like it's, it's totally worth it. But why not just take the information and pass yeah. it on to you guys? So, yeah. yeah, I definitely, definitely would recommend doing this. And I'm really excited for these free groups to start these up. I'll be sharing more about them in the team page. And once you start going through creating your own audiences, get super creative with it. Like, the more targeted you can get, the better. So if you have, like, crazy hobbies – that have like, you know, associations or clubs or associated with them, like find like pages for that. You know, like it's think like really broad, but also really narrow at the same time. Does that make sense? 
you know, like don't just target moms, target like, you know, I really like cloth diapers. So maybe I will target like a cloth diaper company because that type of mom is going to like that diaper. Don't just target like target moms, you know, cause you're going to get 500,000 people. So just start brainstorming and you'll find like once you start writing things down, more and more things will come to you. And then also like you saw, you can type in a really big audience and then find like all these other sort of sub audiences you never knew about, but have people in them that will relate to you. Okay, well, if you guys have any other questions, I will say good night and thank you all for hopping on the call tonight. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh. oh, I couldn't unmute, so I was trying to say thank you. I was like, oh, okay. oh, it's not working. My computer's not cooperating. Yeah, thank <laughs> you so much. You're welcome. You guys have an awesome Monday. Bye.